There are three main techniques for reducing the risk from tectonic hazards. These are prediction, protection and planning. Prediction is attempting to forecast when and where a natural hazard will strike and is done using current knowledge and monitoring techniques. Volcanoes are monitored in a variety of ways. Satellites are used to detect thermal activity and changes to the shape of the volcano. Seismometers are used to record earthquakes that may occur before a volcano erupts. Tilt meters are used along with laser beams to measure changes in the shape and tilt of the volcano. Gases escape as magma rises and instruments can be used to detect this. Earthquakes are a lot harder to predict than volcanoes and there aren't many techniques for monitoring them. Seismometers can detect minor tremors before the main earthquake and laser beams can be used to detect plate movement. Protection is taking action before a hazard strikes to reduce its impact. There is little that can be done to protect from volcanoes. Lava flows can be diverted away from property using embankments. As for earthquakes, buildings and other infrastructure can be constructed to be earthquake resistant and tsunami walls can be built at the coast. Earthquake drills can also help prepare people. Earthquake resistant buildings have features such as reinforced foundations, safe and open areas for people to gather when evacuated, window shutters that close automatically, rolling weights on the roof, walls reinforced with steel, and rubber shock absorbers. Planning is taking action to enable communities to respond to and recover from hazards. Emergency evacuation plans can help reduce the amount of people that are affected, and maps can be used to identify where people are likely to need to be evacuated from.